Hello and welcome to episode 66.2 of the Brian Manifesto, brought to you by the Ecclesian House. This is Pastor Bill, and we are doing things a little different this week with our daily devotional leading up to Easter. Today we're looking at Jesus' time in the Garden of Gethsemane. The following is a composite that I put together of Matthew chapter 26, verses 36 through 46, Mark chapter 14, verses 32 through 42, and Luke chapter 22, verses 40 through 46. Then they came to a place called Gethsemane, and he told his disciples, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter, James, and John with him. And he began to be deeply distressed and troubled. He said to them, I am deeply grieved to the point of death. Remain here and stay awake with me. He went a little farther, fell to the ground, and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible for you. Take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, but what you will. Then an angel from heaven appeared to him, strengthening him. Being in anguish, he prayed more fervently, and his sweat became like drops of blood falling to the ground. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping, exhausted from their grief. He asked Peter, Simon, are you sleeping? Couldn't you stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray so that you won't enter into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Once again, he went away and prayed. My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will is be done. And again, he came and found them sleeping because they could not keep their eyes open. They did not know what to say to him. After leaving them, he went away again and prayed a third time, saying the same thing once more. Then he came to the disciples and he said to them, are you still sleeping and resting? Enough. The time has come. See, the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up. Let's go. See, my betrayer is near. For some reflection on this passage, go download the free devotional if you haven't already. If you have, I hope you enjoyed my reading through the passage that's there in the devotional And you can move on to the reflection part. This is Pastor Bill saying, if you haven't downloaded the devotional, go for it. And until tomorrow.